Hello, welcome. Hello, my lovelies. Welcome or welcome back to the channel. And it it is finally Junk Journal July. And I'm so excited. Okay, so if you guys don't know what Junk Journal July is, it is a challenge that is made by Meg Journals in collaboration with Get Messy Art. And it happens every January and every July. And there are prompts. And this this July, she actually had, the like, if you sign up for, like, getting it set in your email, she sends you a printable. And she made all sorts of printable goodies, like the, a calendar and um, little exercises in case you're stuck on a prompt or it's it's really really cool um and full disclosure i had a completely different um journal for this like i filmed it i was just waiting for her prompt announcement and i guess i should have just waited for her prompt announcement in the first place <laughs> um but i had made a journal and i was going to it was going to be completely out of magazine pages and I was going to challenge myself to just do magazine stuff. But then I saw the prompt list and this year's colors were like this light pink and creams, like very neutral colors. So I kind of got inspired by the prompt list. So I made a completely new journal. Huh? Ta-da! <laughs> um, so... This is, was a gift bag that, um, cause it was my youngest daughter's birthday and one of the bags was like pink and orange. So I thought I would cut that up and I'm actually making an accordion journal. Um, it's basically you just kind of glue a whole bunch of pages together and then you fold it back and forth until you uh, get a functional journal um so that's pretty much what this whole video is <laughs> is me just gluing papers and folding and refolding um and then oh i had to draw a mermaid tail for my daughter because she was right next to me and it's like i want a mermaid tail um uh, but yeah so i used a lot of like kind of more neutrally papers uh fun fact <laughs> i was gonna make an accordion journal for my new mini journal and if you don't know i do call i mondays are mini journal monday on this channel and we usually craft or do art in a mini journal um and i'm making a new one and i and i wanted that one to be an accordion journal but uh things change and uh, <laughs> so this is what i wanted to do for this one so yeah i'm just kind of good and actually meg journals has made a journal like this where she just takes all her different size scraps and puts them together um this one that i'm making now is way more like neutral because the first one i made was i picked like the brightest boldest colors i could so this is like completely different from the last one I made um, but I'm actually way more happy with how this one turned out I think it has more personality and uh, I will say that the next uh, few journals I make I'm gonna have to make them um, no so because I can't find my all <laughs> my little pointy tool that helps me poke holes into signatures um, so <laughs> And I could do it without one. I used to make them without one, but I got so used to having an all that made pretty nice holes that I don't want to make them sloppy and ugly. <laughs> so I get to research different ways uh, to make journals. So this one is gonna is an accordion journal. Uh, and a shout out to Marcy, who uh, had gifted me some glue a while back so i literally have two boxes full of glue because i used a whole stick for this journal maybe two sticks for this journal and um yeah so it's just constantly folding and um making sure that 
it unfolding the right ways and there are some times where I had to like I tried using a coffee filter which it wasn't that sturdy so I had to like go back and make it more sturdy because it was kind of just flippity flappity 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 <laughs> but I love this challenge I do it every time um because when I journal in like my mini journal or anywhere else either I'm just kind of doing whatever I want so having a, a guided prompts is kind of nice and it challenges me in a way that I wouldn't have normally so that's always good and I also think it's really cool to watch other people's videos too because you can see how other people interpreted prompts and it's pretty awesome just to, in the community to see a whole bunch of artistic creative people interpreting the prompts in all sorts of ways um so it's pretty awesome the little community that meg journals has kind of made for all of us to be nerdy and glue stuff <laughs> um but i will have her channel and her announcement video and all that good stuff um in my description box um and then on Monday, you're going to see the birth of Marjorie. And it's going to be something I've never done, which is making a journal using the tab method. So that's going to be fun. You're going to see me struggle with that. <laughs> it was actually really fun. And she, you know, she came out real cute. So I'm, I'm excited to show you the birth of the new mini journal because for the month of July we're not going to have mini journal Monday so um we're going to resume that in August um just so I can devote the whole month to junk journal July because it's there's a prompt every day and if you're new here <laughs> um I can't do daily videos it's just not something that is possible for me um I have two kids and then Currently, my husband is recovering from a pretty severe uh, brain injury. So, um, I like to, with these challenges, I like to combine prompts. I might do, like, two, still do two videos a week, but then have a couple of shorts. Because um, if I can, like, journal, do something collage really fast while my children are occupied and then just film a short real fast is a lot easier so we'll see how that goes i might do two or three videos plus some shorts um depending on how the prompts speak to me really um and what i decide to combine and what i don't um i used kind of the bottom of this bag to make a pocket in the front and I did realize that some of my p papers weren't going all the way down, so I just kind of added some scraps to connect them. And then I do kind of just, as the pages go along, um, fix some things, cut the edges, um, add more paper if I need it to be more sturdy, like with this yellow paper right here. I literally found every piece of scrap that I could. And like I said, this was... All those scraps were going to be for Marjorie, but things evolve, things change. Um, so I do, I do like the idea of having one continuous um, flowing um, collage. Um, so that's what I'm going to end up trying to do for Junk Journal July. Like pick things that kind of go together um, in a way that makes sense. So when you're doing an accordion journal, you're just constantly having to check that you're kind of staying within the parameters of your cover. Because you have to, like, because it's kind of, you know, deconstructed. You know, you have to start with the front cover and then glue and glue and glue until you get to the back cover. So it's constantly having to um, fold and check your folds. Because I did have to redo my folds a couple of times because... They were just um, hanging over just a little bit, uh, which I didn't want. Uh, it is a little rough and ready, 
and I don't know how I'm going to do the, the collages yet. If they're going to be single pages, like one page spreads or like two page spreads. Um, so what's good about accordion journals is I can kind of flip it over and go on the back side too. Uh, since the spine isn't closed. So uh, I'm excited about that. If I end up running out of room, I can just flip it over to the other side. Um, so I have book pages. Some of the pages I dyed with um, avocado skin. So they have that kind of maroonish, pinkish, magenta, whatever you want to call it, um, coloring, uh, which was nice. And then um, paper scraps from other projects. Uh, that brown bag was from like a delivery bag. And I was just kind of alternating, making sure I didn't have two same same. Um, as I went along, I was definitely more creative with trying to put the scraps together to make a so three or four different scraps for one per page or one fold. Um, so I like some of those pages better than trying to just make a whole page with one. Oh, and then I added this cute little envelope on this one, which I think is going to be really cool and exciting to use. So I'm really, I'm really, really happy with how this journal came out. And I'm glad that I went with my gut and made a different journal. Um, because the one that I made, and I might show it on camera later, the one I made out of magazine pages, because I didn't use my all, um, it just the binding wasn't right and it wasn't like opening flat like I like the strings were kind of showing like it just wasn't and it didn't inspire me like nothing about it was making me want to work in it um so I'm definitely glad I went with my gut on this one and um kind of changed the game plan so thank you for uh, being patient with me um if you've been around for a while because I changed my mind and I kept saying, oh, I'm going to do this, I'm going to do this. And then I ended up doing something completely different. Um, but nothing is wasted on my channel, so I'll probably still use that um, other journal that I made for something uh, later in the future. But for this particular uh, Junk Journal July, I, like I said, I got inspired. And I'll have the prompt list later when I actually write out the prompt. You'll see um, what mag journals and get messy art made and like i said i just got inspired by the color palette so i wanted to have a journal that kind of represented the feeling and um if you go watch her video she said that a lot of the prompts were picked by her subscribers or people's suggestions um and a lot of the prompts are really cool uh there there's a good balance of like I would say like structural things like oh put in a tip in or a tea dyed paper and then some ambiguous ones that are way more open to interpretation like spark and light and um, things like that so I think there was a good balance of having structural challenges and then kind of more open ended prompts too. So I think it's going to be really really awesome <laughs> uh, we'll see how i do because uh, life is life in right now <laughs> so uh we will see how you know it all shakes out oh yeah sorry so um yeah we i had to finish off camera but here are some of the materials i am thinking about using just stuff from magazines that I cut out that caught my eye, some stickers, um, pa loose papers, a postcard, stuff like that. Um, so I finished actually just like doing the pages off camera and then we're going to uh, do the first page together right now. Just um, a mi like little, little tiny collage and um, me writing the prompts in. Um, I also attached the tops of like the, where the handles are on the gift bag to the sides just to make it, you know, cuter, you know. 
You can never go wrong with a ribbon handle. And then just putting all the stickers and ephemera that I was thinking about using in the front. My pocket was kind of coming up a little, so I just put a little extra stability um, in the front. And then I'm just going to kind of make it pretty. So I picked out some pink flowers. Um, very pink on this page in the prompt list because that's uh, how we were. That's how, what the graphic looks like. And I think I have it coming soon maybe <laughs> um the overlay but um but yeah i really um so last in january i did like a pull out not a pull out i think it was a bookmark yeah but uh you know what <laughs> i'm i'm basic this time i wanted to like have a have a pull out like have a like flip to be able to flip it open um but uh um that didn't happen <laughs> i forgot <laughs> and i'm like okay i already like put everything together like i don't want to like rip it open because it was pretty nice how it was so i didn't really want to mess it up too much to to do the pull out idea so i just kind of put it in the front and i can just flip to it when i need to i'm adding these pretty flowers from a magazine I'm, I'm really trying to um, pare down. Oh, see, look, ta-da. But see, look at that. Look at the pinks and the neutrals. I'm, I'm digging it. That's basically the whole thing that sparked me totally changing my journal. <laughs> um, so I stole some of my daughter's stickers. Um, she had a couple letter stickers that she doesn't use, so I stole them. Huh? Um, to, to put JJJ. And then I'm just going to write out my prompts. I wish I had a pink pen, but I don't. So I'm just going to use red, which is pink adjacent. <laughs> so, yeah. So you got random ones like spark and poetic and celebrate, timeless, ephemeral. But then you also have like the structural ones like fold, labels, um scraps thread so i think it's going to be a good mix buttons you know um i think it's going to be a really good mix and i'm really really excited i've been looking forward to july for a while i've been ready like itching ready 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 um to get her done <laughs> so hopefully um you guys will be into that and maybe journal with me you know that'd be cool and because i know this is always a big hit on my channel when i do these challenges so hopefully we all have a good time and this is when i realized that i i'm gonna run out of room so i need to move my sticker <laughs> um just to write the last few prompts on there uh and there's also a whole list of collaborators that there will be a video a day um, doing the prompts. Um, it's all on Meg Journals' um, page, YouTube. So you can be sure to check all of them out, too, because they worked really, really hard on all of this. It's super obvious that they worked really hard. So I'm just adding a couple of stickers just to round out the front page a little bit but this is pretty much it i think i ended up going it so this is just kind of what the pages look like they're all a little different since i use scraps and different things so it, i think it'll be interesting of how i work with oh that's my favorite one all the different one you know the scraps but yeah will in that envelope oh I love that I put that in there. It's actually a vintage envelope from, from a long time ago. And I used some of my mom's vintage pieces too that I stole from her desk. And this is when I flipped it over. So if I run out of room, I can just go on the back as well if I, if I want to. And even if I don't, it's still like interesting enough on its own to just kind of be chilling. So ta-da, ta-da girl. But I will see you next time. Bye.